And good evening. This is Steve Cooper in the 7 News, and we continue to follow breaking news tonight. An earthquake being felt around New England. We're told it is centered near southern Maine for the very latest. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Pete Bouchard. Pete, what's going on? All right, Steve. Yeah, apparently it was right in Hollis Center, 4.6 magnitude on the Richter scale. Anything over 2.5 you'd feel, and this one was felt all the way down into Massachusetts, all the way across into the Lakes region of New Hampshire. It is looking like uh, our computer's trying to plot one on the other side of Lake Arrowhead. Per perhaps that was a, uh, an aftershock. There's likely to be aftershocks in this region. Again, Lake Arrowhead is uh, this lake right here. This is Portland, Maine. This is Saco, Maine. And this is York, Maine down here. And then you're over to the Lakes region, Lake Winnipesaukee. You get your bearings. Of course, we're across northern New England now. So the intensity of this is... Uh, big enough to be felt and what we have is what we call a shake map here and you can see right around the epicenter where you would get the the most intense shaking which would cause possibly the most damage right around that star and the scale is on the bottom of your screen i just had a few moments to put this together so pardon the uh the uh the look of the whole map and the whole scene here but you can see that anything uh, in this shading of darker green or even bordering on yellow is enough to be felt and what we call moderate to strong shaking and that starts to fade as you get towards uh york and down uh, just beyond sanford maine but in the vicinity of this the major city of sanford did have some moderate shaking there's possibly some damage from that earthquake from in that city or over towards Biddeford and Saco, both those cities as well, and then up towards Sebago Lake. I'm sure the water was rippling there and also through Lake Arrowhead. This isn't a fault line. This isn't an area where you would see numerous earthquakes. I can't tell you the last time uh, there was an earthquake in southern Maine that was in this magnitude. Uh, it's, it's possibly... Uh, Decades, maybe even over a hundred years, I'd say that something was centered. I want to say over 200 years. I had actually looked into this uh, about a month ago, ironically, and I believe it was uh, across most of northern Maine that we saw most of that shaking going on with different earthquakes. But this is odd to have this so close to a major city like Portland and also so close to the Boston metro area and kind of in our backyard in a sense. But uh, a very intense earthquake, 4.5 on the Richter scale. I'll go looking through the record books and see if that hasn't happened at least 200 to 300 years. Don't hold me to that, but this is quite an unprecedented event here across New England. Steve, over to you. All right, Pete, we're also hearing from MEMA tonight that there have been no injuries reported across Massachusetts. We're also hearing some reported damage of cracks in windows and cracks in walls. Stay with 7 News for the latest for now. I'm Steve Cooper.